Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Hannah Handwritten and today I'm going to do a talk through makeup tutorial. I definitely know the lip color that I want to do. I want to go dark berry kind of thing. So with that in mind, I'm going to create like a neutral to cool toned eye look. And I thought I would film this even though I already have my foundation done. I've been wearing this for about six hours. I had a weird morning. I ended up having to take my car to the shop. Anyway, long story short. Um, I'm getting around to doing this tutorial a little bit later in the day. I am wearing the number seven airbrush foundation, I think it is. That, fo that foundation first impression will be up soon, but yeah, that's what I have on my face. So I think I'm going to start off with the eyes. So first I'm going to start off with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek through my crease as a transition, and then I'm going to go in with brown points. It's my first time using this particular, actually both of these eyeshadows. So I'm curious to see how they work. I've used other Makeup Geek eyeshadows before and I've liked all of them except for like one. But that was because it was super dark and just generally hard to blend. Not being super precise with this, just kind of going in there for an all over color. So now I'm going to jump into brownie points. And because I have hooded eyes, I'm going to focus this at my crease and above it so that it will show when I'm still looking straight forward and not closing my eyes. Now I'm going to go back in with no product on the big elf fluffy brush and just blend the edges. And now just go back in and further deepen the crease. Now before I blend, I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Americano. Again, first I'm using this shadow as well. It's this really pretty, neutral, really, really dark brown. And I'm going to use this MUA uh, Defined Crease Brush. Tap off a lot of the excess because I don't know how pigmented it's going to be. Okay, good call on tapping a lot off. I barely have any on here and it's really going on. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing out this last third a little bit higher than the rest so that it gives my eye that little lifted effect. I do have kind of almond shaped eyes, but I really like to emphasize the, the flick. Being super light handed with this, just getting the color there and not really worried about blending it. Now I'm going to go back in with that H&M brush and on the very tip, because it's tapered, I'm going to dip back into Americano and I'm going to focus that at the edge right here. Now I'm going to use the other end of that H&M brush and I'm going to mix between brownie points and Americano and I'm going to bring that on my lower lash line. I'm really focusing that very, very close to my lash line. I'm then flipping it over and with a light hand blending it out. Now for a highlight, I'm going to jump into this Milani eyeshadow. It is in Bella White. I was going to use my Essence one, but I think this one is a little bit more matte than the Essence one, and I think that'll go better with this look. And then I'm also going to add it into my inner corner, and then at the bridge of the nose right here where I have blueness that is almost never covered. And now what I'm going to do uh, for a little bit of attention at the center of the eye, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Powder in Ethereal Light. Um, I'm just going to use my pinky or my ring finger and I'm going to tap very lightly right in the center just to give it a little bit of something something. Now I'm going to line my top waterline with this Revlon Color Stay Black Eyeliner. Now I'm going to take a little smudgy end. If you don't have this exact eyeliner, you could just use a little uh, stiff angled brush or smudger brush. Yeah, I'm not liking this. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to try to smudge that bit in the center away. And we're going to go in with a different liner. All right, so my new plan is going to be using a black uh, eyeshadow with this angled brush by MUA. I'm using... Um, Makeup Geek Corrupt. So now on from that, I'm going to put the mascara on the lashes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Sensational Luscious Fan Effect because apparently one word makes a big difference in the kind of mascara it is. 
I got the other one that did not say lush, or no, this one's sumptuous. I'm so sorry. No, it says sumptuous on the other side and luscious on this side. Languages. English side says luscious, but I got another one and it was like one word off and it was a totally different mascara and I was like, what is this? I do really like this mascara, except for the fact that I guarantee you I will have flakes by the end of the day. But my day is, you know, with actual makeup makeup on is starting a lot later, so hopefully that won't happen. Like, look at that, that's one quote. I love this mascara. I think I might try it in the waterproof formula, even though I hate waterproof, but just, you know, to avoid the flakiness. Oh, mother fucking mother fucking fucking So now I'm going to do my brows and forget about the mess that is my left eye. I got this on the half off sale that Ulta was having the other day, uh, and I'm gonna use the brow powder in taupe. I think I'm gonna use the darker shade. And I'm gonna use this Eco Tools Tools brush. Now I'm going to contour using this powder from Sephora. It's in number 14. Now I'm gonna jump into this CoverGirl uh, blush called Now I'm going to jump into this CoverGirl blush. It is in Deep Mauve, and I'm going to use a very light hand on this um, Wet n Wild brush. I forgot how much I liked this brush. Oh, I like it actually so much more than that Real Techniques one. Now I'm going to use that eyeshadow that I used before by Milani in Bella White, and I'm going to use that to highlight. This is like the subtler, <laughs> this is my subtle, subtler version of the Essence one that I really love that I use all the time. If I wanted to really pile this on and give it like a whoom, I'm sure that I could, which I'm kind of starting to do because I can't stop. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, a little bit on my lip. Keep it well, not my lip, whatever. Now for a decision that is always difficult to make, lip color. I think that Dukes by ColourPop would look better with this, but I really want to try out the formula of Dose of Colors. I haven't actually put it on my lips yet and I just got this order in. So I'm gonna go with Dose of Colors, bury me. A very lightly vanilla smell. I don't like the tip to the brush. It makes it very hard for my Cupid spell, but we're working with it. Okay, yeah, I hate the applicator <laughs> because it's fuzzy. And so every time I do that, it like grabs on to like the skin over my lip. And I'm like, why can't you just be solid? So yeah, verdict is that I'm actually going to trim the tip of that brush or the, the doe foot thing. Mm -mm, Cause I was not cool with that. So this is how the look turned out. I actually really quite like it. This really was much of a like first impressions kind of thing. So I think that's what I'm gonna call this. So the highlight, I love so much. The color of the liquid lipstick itself, I love. I don't like the applicator, but I think I can fix that. The Anastasia brow product, the powder, I like that. It's something that you have to get used to again before when I used, I eyebrow pencils. It took me so long to get used to it, but now it's like my fastest method. And I think it's kind of the same sort of thing. There's a learning curve to it. And I really like the eyeshadows too. Again, ignoring this horrible eye, but they blended out really easily. So I'm going to give you a couple of shots so you can really see what the makeup looks like. And I think that's about it. So if you guys, if you guys, so if you guys did like this talk through style makeup tutorial, please let me know. Or if you prefer the voiceovers, also let me know that. I'll be happy to do more of whichever you prefer. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.